Friends, kumusta po kayo? Have you ever wondered how we'll be able to find Jesus amidst the demands of work, yung rush hour, yung traffic, yung yung mga nangyayari ngayon sa paligid natin? Guess what? Today, we're lucky to have with us Father Lambert Ramos from the Diocese of Antipolo. And today, he's about to tell us a story of How I Met the Father. My story is uh, very simple uh, uh, from father to father. How so? Father as a family man and father as Father Lambert, now an ordained minister. Now, people are wondering, how did this come about? See, I've been a corporate man and I've reached the peak, having been uh, CEOs a CEO of various multinational companies. So really, as, as uh, uh, in the life of a secular person, I am so used to barking orders left and right, and now I find myself submitting in obedience and humility to, to my vision. There can only be one explanation for that. It is uh, mainly through the workings of the Holy Spirit. I used to be a, uh, uh, an ex-seminarian. I've gone through minor and major seminary philosophy. I've been married. I've got three children, three wonderful children, married to a saintly woman, but she died. So, a few years after she died, some whispering of the Holy Spirit came to me and told me, perhaps now is the time for you to go back to the seminary. Thankfully, Loyola School of Theology has accepted me. I went through the rigors of uh, theological studies, and now I am an ordained priest, a hundred-day-old priest. Amoy ang helpa, pero amoy lupa na because I am now 66 years going on 67. Now, what do I expect to do? I'm, I am actually also wondering uh, what it is that I still need out of life. To be honest, um, my contemporaries are all very well retired, enjoying the fruits of their, of their labor. Here I am, still working it hard, as hard as I can, and uh, I am the lowest man in the totem pole, so to speak. But I'm prepared to do that because I wish to make use of the talent that was given to me. I want to make sure that I, that I uh, respond to the call, the challenge of the Lord. Are you prepared to leave all these things to do my work? Answer, yes, Lord, I'm prepared to do that. There you have it, friends. Responding to God's call, giving our prayer of Fiat Voluntas Tua isn't, as what Father said, won't be a, uh, an easy journey, an easy task. But in the end, it's, it's a life of holiness, it's a life of happiness at the same time, and all the more, a life of service to God and His people. So, Father, thank you very much. With pleasure, con mucho gusto. Right. May I be completely at your service every now and then. Yeah, thank you, Father. So, friends, till next week. Thank you.